Hi students, this is uh, Ram Kishore, Department of EC, DBSIT, Kavali. So in today's class, I would like to explain about uh, layout. So already in the previous units, already we designed uh, different layouts for uh, different logic functionalities. So whatever from the Boolean expression, if you know the Boolean expression, so from that Boolean expression, so we have to design uh, a circuit level design so after that circuit level design so we have to draw stick diagram for a uh, uh, particular uh, uh, circuit design by using uh, different different uh, color code rules so after that we have to write uh, that layout so that same layout should be implemented by using uh, the software uh, methods or software languages those are uh, nothing but uh, VHDL and the Verilog. So in the last class already we discussed about what is a VHDL and what is a VHDL synthesis and how that synthesis will be help a circuit design flow that means the synthesis is nothing but so it convert a program that is whatever we are giving the inputs are defined uh, within the language uh, VHDL language or uh, Verila Verilog language so that will be converted uh, a gate level circuit level so after that uh, that will be converted so it is uh, very convenient uh, to convert that gate level circuit into layout uh, so that uh, we will see what is that layout, how that uh, circuit will be converted uh, as a layout in the program. So here, uh, so the layout is nothing but, so it, uh, it is uh, initialized that or it uh, tells us that, uh, so it is a way of representing, so it is the way in which uh, how, how many different layers will be presented uh, to build uh, a integrated circuit. So that is nothing but, so the layout is also called it as a IC mask layout or a integrated circuit layout. So we can also call in different forms. So simply the layout represents an IC integrated circuit in terms of planar geometric shapes. So here the planar geometric shapes are nothing but, so if you are uh, consider any type of uh, uh, design of the model so that design may have uh, a constant shape so that means uh, uh, for example you can consider uh, a table so that may have uh, some uh, square type square type or we can consider uh, a tv television so that is also one model and if you consider a mobile phone so based on uh, the model will changes uh, the shape of the or uh, the physical design of the device is also changes. So that will be the shape or that uh, the quantity or the capacity of that mobile may depends on uh, so what type of layout uh, internally that design may have. So here uh, the planar geometric shapes are nothing but so in, in every design we are having different layers. Those are nothing but uh, metal or uh, polysilicon or end diffusion or contacts. So these are all layers will be consist within the layout so that each type of layer or, or uh, each type uh, the layer should be in what form that will be decided uh, by the layout. So simply it is a integrated circuit so whatever we are uh, designing uh, the integrated circuit so that may have different shapes of the layers so that will decide uh, whatever the layers we have to implemented uh, within, within the circuit. So for example, I have to explain about uh, uh, one of the inverter circuit, those are nothing but complementary metal oxide semiconductor inverter. So it may consist uh, uh, both the p-type transistor and n-type transistor. So to form like this type of structure within the IC integrated circuit, so we have to use uh, p-type transistor and n-type transistor whenever we have to apply the input and the power, power, power terminal to a particular circuit and that will give us an inverting functionality. So already you know the operation of the CMOS inverter. So from this 
circular. So we have to write uh, or we have to design a stick diagram. So that is nothing but uh, so here uh, by using uh, a contact that is uh, for the power supply. So we have to use the metal contact. So that will be blue color. And for the N diffuse P diffusion, so it is P type transistor. So it is P diffusion. It is uh, yellow. Yellow color will be represented. So for the polysilicon, so it will consist the red color. And uh, again uh, for the uh, N type transistor for N diffusion, so it may that may be draw with the green color. So here, uh, so whatever this uh, layout and the same thing will be transferred. The stick diagram will be convert or transformed into layout so that may consist a perfect scaling uh, scaling planar geometric shapes that means for every layer that may consist uh, a defined shape of that uh, layer by uh, observing or by seeing that shape or the color uh, so that uh, designer the back end uh, designer will consider oh they are uh, this this part will consist uh, so this layer and this amount of oxidation will be applied uh, at this place so by observing the layer so for this one so we have to use uh, different color for that for the end diffusion layer we have to use green color and uh, uh, polysilicon layer we have to use red color and the metal we have to use the blue color and the contact black color and the p diffusion yellow so Finally, the layout uh, describes, uh, it uh, tells us that, so what type of layer will be included to make or uh, to build uh, a specific integrated uh, circuit. So that will be coming from after the simulation and synthesis of that uh, particular circuit description. So after our next topic is uh, design capture tools. So after simulation and synthesis and uh, after uh, that uh, circuit or whatever we are uh, defined uh, that, uh, that software program uh, for a, a specific circuit uh, so that will be that will be follow some design capture tools uh, those are nothing but uh, so design capture capture tools is nothing but cap here what is the meaning of the capture is uh, so it uh, identifies or it tells us that uh, so every description or every point of the circuit uh, within the node so for, uh, we have uh, different nodes that means input nodes and output nodes uh, and the intermediate nodes so we have, whenever we designing a circuit so we have in that circuit we are having different uh, type of nodes those are nothing but so that will be each and every node description so where the node has to place and where the node will be transferred from one point to another point. So that will be the description about the every node will be tells under the design capture tools. So that is the meaning of the capture. And if the design capture tools encapsulates the design, the circuit description. So already uh, we, we know that the synthesis in a, Synthesis is nothing but uh, so it is uh, converting uh, the software program into a gate level netlist. A gate level netlist that means so whenever we are giving a proper inputs to a uh, particular circuit or we defining or uh, that may program may we have to write uh, uh, in uh, different forms whether it may be a circuit design or the behavior or structural or data flow whatever the manner. So that uh, program may consist uh, the the specific uh, operation of the circuit. So here uh, the the design capture tools the design tool will have uh, these type of uh, designs. One is the specifications and the functional design and the logic design and the logic design will be followed by circuit design and the circuit design will followed by physical design and the physical design is followed by fabrication so to perform a, for the every a, a point or every step so we have to use a, a, we have to use some basic bone for a design capture tools those are nothing but uh, for, to perform the specification so we have to use the system 
description so the system description is nothing but so what uh, what type of inputs will be applied to a particular circuit and what type of outputs will be applied to a specific uh, circuit and uh, how many clock uh, input signal applied to that uh, circuit so that overall information will be defined at the system description uh, languages so that will be there is nothing but the port the port uh, specific port point uh, within the program so after that uh, to perform the functional design so we have to use uh, some hardware description language so those are nothing but VHDL and uh, VDL so by using uh, a specific editor so we have to perform the simulation and uh, synthesis and to perform a logic uh, design so we have to use the logic synthesis so uh, simulation and synthesis simulation is nothing but so it verifies the specific functionality of the circuit uh, uh, whether the functionality is performing correct or uh, not so after that uh, the circuit design will follow the physical synthesis that is the placement and uh, routing so we have to divide uh, the entire system into subblocks of the design so after that we have to connect uh, the interconnection that means whatever the layers present within the lay uh, layout so we have to connect from uh, one one layer to another uh, layer so uh, finally so we have to go for the physical design so the same information whatever the uh, we, uh, the physical ic that came into the picture after the fabrication by using the tap out and the manufacture thank you next topic is uh, circuit synthesis so the circuit synthesis is nothing but uh, so it uh, converts uh, the given we have to apply the inputs and that uh, inputs will be converted into a gate level netlist or gate level circuit so here uh, the uh, it is uh, whatever we are the gate level description uh, will be converted into a physical structure so it is the process of uh, generate circuit hardware schematics so whatever already we seen the design capture tools so these are the specification and the functional design and the logic design so whenever we given the boolean expression as a inputs and we have to define a proper procedure and process with a perfect functionality so by using that functionality so the synthesis will converted into a a specific uh, circuit a specific uh, logic functionality of the circuit and it is uh, nothing but it is uh, simply it is to generate uh, a hardware part of the applied inputs so that means uh, so here uh, when, uh, whenever we are using any code of the VHDL so that will be defined uh, in any format as it may be behavioral and the design flow and whatever the manner so we have to that will be consist the entity part so entity is nothing but uh, so what type of design we are designing that means whether it may be adder circuit or uh, sub, uh, full adder circuit uh, or combinational circuit or uh, sequential circuit so either it may be flip flops or the counters whatever the circuit and that will be defined uh, within the entity so after that uh, we have to define the port uh, so the port will be consist how many inputs applied to a particular circuit and how many outputs are uh, applied to uh, for the design and the architecture the architecture will follow each and every step of that means each and every point of the design so finally we have to end so that the, the code whatever that uh, defined code uh, so we have to define by using the editor or uh, uh, any software so after the synthesis so that the entire code whatever the point or the operation or what type of it that means uh, either it may be defined the under operation or operation uh, uh, not operation or xor operation or nan or 
whatever the operation so that will be takes a specific logic circuit by following the synthesis by following the synthesis so based on that so it will nothing but so it is a code so that that will be converts a hardware part of the circuit so after the synthesis the entire code will be converted into a specific logic circuit of the design so for this one for the design so we have to use different type of tools those are nothing but the editors and the vhdl very log uh, programs and system very log system c tool and the state charts tool and fsm capture so whatever we perform the the logic or whatever the program will define within the code by using these overall tools we get a timing and the logical level circuit thank you